Uh, in that spirit, let me say for the, uh, the last time standing up here, Josh, you want to get started with questions? Thanks, Josh. Oh. I, uh, I, I am, I'm not interrupting because he was saying nice things about you guys, uh, because I largely concur. Uh, when I first met Josh Ernest, uh, he was in Iowa. Uh, I think he was wearing jeans. He looked even younger than he was. Uh, and since my entire campaign depended on communications in Iowa, um, I gave him a, a pretty good uh, uh, once over. And there are a couple things I learned about him right away. Uh, number one, you know, he, he's just got that all-American matinee good-looking thing going. <laughs> That's helpful, let's face it. Face made for television. Then the guy's name is Josh Ernest, <laughs> which, if somebody's speaking on your behalf, uh, is a pretty good name to have. Uh, but what struck me most in addition to his smarts and his maturity and his actual interest in the issues um, was his integrity. You know, there are people you meet who you have a pretty good inkling right off the bat are straight shooters and were raised to be fundamentally honest uh, and to treat people with respect. And there are times where that first impression turns out to be wrong and you're a little disappointed and you see uh, behind the curtain that there's spin and uh, some uh, hype and posturing going on. But then there's others who, the longer you know them, the better you know them, uh, the more time you spend with them, the more you're tested under tough situations, uh, the more that initial impression is confirmed. Uh, and I have now known this guy for 10 years almost. And I've watched him grow and I've watched him advance and I've watched him marry and I've watched him be a father and I've watched him manage younger people coming up behind him and he's never disappointed. He has always been the guy you wanted him to be. Um, and I think that, you know, you if you're the President of the United States and you find out that this is the guy who has been voted the most popular press secretary ever by the White House Press Corps, that may make you a little nervous. He's thinking, well, maybe the guy's kind of uh, you know, being too uh, solicitous towards, uh, towards the press. But the fact is, is that he was worthy of that admiration. Um, he was tough and he didn't always give you guys everything you wanted, but he was always prepared, he was always courteous, he always tried to make sure that uh, he could share with you as much of our thinking and our policy and our uh, vision as possible. And tried to be as responsive as possible and that's how he trained uh, the rest of his team to be. Um, so, uh, you know, of, of, of the folks that I've had the great joy and pleasure of working with over the last 10 years uh, on this incredible journey. Um, you know, this guy ranks as high as uh, just about anybody I've worked with. Uh, he is not only a great pre press secretary, but more importantly, uh, he is a really, really good man. Uh, and I'm really, really proud of him. So, Josh, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Natalie and uh, Walker, thanks for putting up with uh, all of this, because uh, 
because they've made sacrifices too. Thank you, sir. Question, before you go, response to Vladimir Putin. I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going on Friday? <laughs> Uh, well, that was awfully generous. Um, so uh, the, the President will be back uh, tomorrow. Uh, he'll be standing here and uh, he'll be answering your questions. Uh, today you're going to have to settle for me. So uh, Josh, you want to get us started? <laughs>